you doing in the round pen? Why are you in there? He says, I don't know. <laughs> you are so goofy. What's up guys, it's Lena, and today I'm gonna be doing another non-riding vlog, just because I am pretty tired today, but I'm gonna be rearranging my arena. Um, and by rearranging, I mean moving around my ground poles and stuff. So I think that'll be kind of an interesting vlog, and yeah, that, that panel is bent. It's called, we have a halflinger who leaned on it. But yeah, I think it'll be kind of fun for you guys to see what that looks like. And I don't know what I'll even be doing with it, but let's go. All right guys, as you can see, my arena is kind of chaotic today. Um, it's called, I had stuff all piled up and the wind came in. So there's a ground pole way out over there. There's a ground pole there. There's two ground poles here. Um, and then I have my various things I've been using for jumping. Um, these are my rail razors. I love these. They're for, they're like little tiny jump standards that you can stack. Each one is four inches tall. They're mainly supposed to be used for Cavaletti, but I have enough of my using for jumping. But they're a pain in the butt to stack sometimes because they stick. And here's the other one. I want to get these all together because I have literally <laughs> lost these things because they're so, they're little. They're not that big. They're only four inches tall. I've actually lost some of these in the field <laughs> and then it's taken me ages to find them. What are you doing? Teddy bear, don't. Okay, so let's go move the rail razors. I'm not going to use these, I don't think, because I really don't need them in the arena. So we're going to go put them out in the uh, pile of stuff I don't need, which is right over the fence. Ta-da! One object down, several more to go. Please excuse Adel's moth-eaten state. He is uh, finally just now starting to shed. He's an Icelandic pony, for those of you who do not know. And he has always been a late shedder. Like, it's May 14th right now, and he's finally just now shedding out. And this is pretty normal, and he'll probably actually be all done around July. And then he regrows it starting August. So, <laughs> we have like a month ish where he actually is all sleek and shiny and pretty like a normal pony in the summer before he goes back to shaggy mammoth but that's actually just how he is it's not even a breed thing it's just an adult thing and he's been tested for um different disorders that would possibly explain why he's a late shatter and he's tested negative for all of them so he's perfectly normal it's just what adel does and he's gonna be my helpful partner <sighs> No, working around you is not easy, Adel, I know. You get my way. You're almost as bad as Coda. Okay, so I've decided that I actually don't want my, sorry, there goes my lens cap, these barrels in here because um, with the wind lately, they've been blowing around and, Adel, really? Well, as I was saying, with the wind, Sunny, they have been blown around several times. Sunny, you guys. All right, as I was saying, lately with the wind, these things have been blowing around and I um, don't really think I want them ending up in Timbuktu. So I think I'm gonna take these out of the arena for now, tie them with the third barrel and put them where they can't blow away. That is, if someone would leave them alone. You're naughty. You are so naughty. Ha ha, I got the barrels. So we are on the other side of the fence. And there's my third barrel. I have three of these barrels. I used to have four, the fourth one popped. Oops, sorry, there goes my lens cap again. I don't know where the lid for that one is. Usually I have them filled with water. There's my little string. <laughs> um, so I can, so they're weighted, but I lost the cap to that one. And I don't really feel like lugging these barrels around when they're full of water. So my way to keep them from blowing away is to actually just tie them together and stick them underneath some of my heavy wooden ground poles because they are really actually really quite heavy. Um, and they manage to keep these things from going hither and yon. So I'm going to tie these things together. All 
All right, I got the barrels tied up and made sure that they cannot blow away. And now I'm going to actually grab these two PVC ground poles. These two. And we're gonna take those into the arena and use them. Because I only have four poles in the arena right now. I want more. And I don't feel like lugging a bunch of those heavy ones out there. So we'll go with these, because they're lighter. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that, do you see the white little posts sticking out of the ground? Those are temporary fence posts. We currently have a temporary fence up for um, the spring. We, usually, we do it every spring. That way, when we turn our horses out into the field for the first time, they cannot actually go that far because I prefer to chase my horses in an area that size, not this size, in the first couple weeks. And our horses, they all know to come in because they get um, a little bit of oats when they come in. But it is very tempting when you are first out on pasture for the first time um, in the year to just stay out in the pasture and not bother coming in. Ahem, <clears throat> Atoll. So we do have a smaller area just so I don't have to go tr um, trekking over a seven acre field to catch the horses. I literally just changed my, my mind right now. I decided I don't want these two poles over here. So let's go pick this pole up. Ugh. And carry it with me. And uh, very awkwardly doing this one handed. I'm gonna put it right there. So currently what our thing looks like. And we're gonna go get the other pole. And it's gonna come with me. And I'm going to put it, hmm, where do I wanna put this? Atoll. That's not really straight, but. <laughs> so here's our finished product if Adel was not standing in the way. Adel, <laughs> there we go. Here's our finished product. So you have a canter pole, or a pole here, a pole on the opposite side, actually two poles, a pole there, a pole here, and a pole here. So in total, I use six different ground poles, and I will try to take some better shots of it without naughty horses in the way. And the cool thing about this type of arrangement of poles is you can use it in any way you want. Um, you can use it, like you can use the chutes, you can just canter over poles, or trot over poles, or knock poles over if you're sunny. <laughs> but it's, I like doing stuff like this with my ground poles rather than just having trot poles all in a row, or having canter poles all in a row, or jumps all in a row. Because this really makes you as a rider come up with ideas under saddle, and it also makes it um, less conformative. So you don't like always have your trot poles set exactly um, I don't know, how big, is, how big is a trot stride? Like three feet apart? You don't always have them set exactly three feet apart or however big your horse's trot stride is. And it really makes a horse think when you have just poles like this. And again, I did try to space them out to the proper striding best I can, but I really suck at it. So <laughs> um, I'm not very good at spacing them out properly, but I did the best I could. So I'm gonna try to take some better photos without ponies in the way.
you think, Coda? What do you think of Mom's new creation? He says, I don't know. He says, do I have to go over that? <laughs> You're almost too short to do that, buddy. He says, no, I'm not. Lovely shout out to Coda here. <laughs> Mr. Pretty Boy, are you guys ready to be fed? He says, feed me, Mom, I'm hungry. Obviously, I'm starving my horse. As you can obviously see every single one of his ribs under that layer of fat and muscle. <laughs> okay guys, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below, would you ever try that type of exercise with your horse? Um, don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell because I don't post that often, but and when I do, you guys might wanna see it. So. Ring the notification bell, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at LenaEQ. Links will be down in the description. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye!